This may be the first time you've heard about 999-42 Apophis, but we can guarantee you'll hear a lot more about it in the coming years. The 340-meter asteroid Apophis will pass inside the geosynchronous orbit on April 13, 2029. That is around 23,000 miles kilometers from the Earth's surface. That's close. So, what exactly is Apophis and what test did we perform? Well, stay tuned to find out and keep watching until the end of the video because we will discuss what would happen if Apophis hit Earth. So, let us start at the top. What is Apophis? Apophis is quite large. It was found in 2004 and its diameter is estimated to be 1,100 feet, 340 meters. But the original estimate had it at about 450 meters for reference which would put it higher than that of the 381-meter Empire State Building and the 324-meter Eiffel Tower, and roughly half the size of the 828-meter Burj Dubai, the world's largest man-made building. The enormous asteroid 99942 Apophis, which had a high likelihood of reaching Earth, was long regarded as one of the deadliest asteroids in space. The 340-meter asteroid's course toward the globe at the time of its discovery caused many people to worry that an actual collision would occur. In the end though, astronomers' extra data has made it appear that the scenario is implausible. But because of Apophis's enormous size, its near approach will be so dazzling that up to 2 billion people will be able to see it with their own eyes. The asteroid will first be seen in the southern hemisphere as a brilliant star blazing throughout the sky from east to west, traveling over Australia, then the Indian Ocean, and finally passing the equator over Africa. So, if you happen to be in any of these places, you now know what day to keep an eye out for. An asteroid the size of Apophis passing so near to us is thought to occur once every thousand years. Scientists were initially uncertain if Apophis's journey would end up in a collision with Earth, but we are safe, for the time being. Apophis was found in 2004. It was given a 2.7% chance of reaching Earth in 2029, prompting widespread media coverage. It also had a slight likelihood of striking Earth in 2036 for a moment. Additional measurements indicate that it will not reach Earth in 2029 or 2036, but pass really close to it. Even after this risk was eliminated, experts couldn't rule out the possibility that Earth's gravitational influences would change the asteroid in such a way that one of its subsequent trips would result in a collision, a possibility that was only eliminated this year. In terms of classification, Apophis was categorized as an Aten-class asteroid, which means that its orbit intersects with Earth's orbit around the Sun, although it lives most of its time within it. However, due to its broader orbit, it will be categorized as an Apollo-class asteroid after the projected near encounter. But if the name Apophis seems familiar, it's because it's the old Greek term for an ancient Egyptian deity named Apep or Apep who was considered the personification of anarchy and the enemy of light and harmony in the universe. The deity is also associated with earthquakes, thunder, darkness, storms, and death, and was often regarded as Egypt's most powerful evil force. Cool, right? So, how much do we know about Apophis? Roy A. Tucker, David J. Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi found it on June 19, 2004 while researching at Kitt Peak National Observatory. At the time, the object was designated as 2004 MN4. Despite the fact that the crew was only allowed to examine the asteroid for two days due to technical challenges and adverse weather conditions, additional observations immediately revealed a plethora of information about the asteroid. But the name Apophis that we are used to today was given in 2005. Apophis is classified as an S-type or stony-type asteroid, and it includes a mixture of metals like nickel and iron. It is thought to have an elongated form with two lobes, similar to a rocky space peanut. When experts estimated how close the asteroid's orbit would bring it to Earth, their joy swiftly turned to worry. But even from the start, the danger was never all that severe, and the chances seemed to be stacked against such an impact. But there were still reasons to be concerned about an impact, including the presence of the gravitational keyhole. And if you're wondering what a gravitational keyhole is, you're not alone. It's a small region of space impacted by a planet's gravity. And let's suppose an asteroid passes through the keyhole at the right moment. It might completely alter our orbit. So while the estimates may have appeared mild to some, they were nonetheless harsh enough to award Apophis the highest rating on two metrics used by scientists to evaluate how deadly an asteroid is to our planet, the Torino scale and the Palermo Technical Impact Hazard scale. 
And while the likelihood of Apophis colliding with the Earth in 2029 was nearly nil by 2006, subsequent collisions, notably in 2068, could not be disregarded lightly. It was once anticipated that when Apophis flew by Earth, it would go through the keyhole. If it did, there was a potential that its orbit might be changed, putting it on a collision path with the planet in 2036. However, subsequent computations revealed that this was unlikely to occur. And because Apophis was difficult to spot because of its near proximity to the Sun from 2015 to 2019, there was no actual rule that it would completely miss us, and the asteroid looked almost fiercely eager to live up to its ominous name. This brings us to the test to rule it out completely. All prior information about Apophis was not accessible for this asteroid defense exercise. In order to create a precise route for Apophis, scientists had to start afresh throughout the asteroid's near approach which began in December 2020 and finished in March 2021. The effort involved well over 100 researchers from 18 different nations, and it involved routinely scanning the sky for highly deadly asteroids. According to Vishnu Reddy, associate professor at the University of Arizona, the project stress-tested the entire planetary defense response chain from initial detection to orbit determination, measurement of the asteroid's physical characteristics, and even determining if and where it could hit the Earth. The campaign was directed by the Lunar and Planetary Laboratory, according to a statement from NASA. Apophis was originally spotted during the test by the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona, followed by the Panoramic Survey Telescope and the last asteroid impact alert system, ATLAS, which has observatories in Chile, Hawaii, and South Africa. The NASA NEOI spacecraft, which utilized its thermal vision to precisely determine the size and form of Apophis, made some of the most significant measurements. He described Apophis as an extended object with a diameter of between 270 and 410 meters or 886 to 1,345 feet. And by December 23rd of last year, scientists had gathered enough information to declare Apophis to be a brand new asteroid, but not enough to fully exclude an impact. Apophis's orbit was therefore further calculated after it was enhanced by the Goldstone Solar System radar in California in March 2021. With the help of this ground-based radar, which captured photos of Apophis and assessed its speed and distance, the asteroid's orbit could be calculated more precisely and we were able to rule out a crash in 2029, or at least for the following 100 years, thanks to the new data. Is mankind still at risk of an asteroid collision? Yes, technically. According to NASA, the Earth is not at risk of being hit by an asteroid in the next 100 years. However, this only pertains to asteroids approaching from the front, implying approaching Earth and the Sun. Asteroids that come through the back, away from the Sun, are notoriously challenging to detect. But if it had hit the ground, what may have happened? Very, yet the precise degree depends upon the makeup of the asteroid, so it's unknown. When an asteroid actually reaches the Earth, a number of variables come into play that decides how much destruction, if any, it causes. While many asteroids and comets that enter the Earth's atmosphere burn up upon entrance owing to friction, this is not always the case. These variables comprise but are not restricted to the size, mass, and angle at which the item enters the atmosphere. But it's fair to say that Apophis will wreak terrible harm, but only on a local level. It won't be severe enough to wipe out all human life on Earth. That is not to argue that it would have the most disastrous effect on the world ever. However, should Apophis impact, this could probably produce energy equivalent to 880 megatons or 20 million kilotons of TNT. Meanwhile, the Tsar Bomba, the heaviest nuclear weapon ever tested, had just about 50 megatons of TNT's explosive force.